Life, an everyday experience in Wayne, Nebraska. Local media were invited to a Northeast Nebraska school previewing a ballot item that will impact the school district. From Winside Public Schools and Winside, Superintendent Andrew Offner in his second year was joined by Visionary Task Committee member Melissa Schwedhelm and School Board President John Yeager to lead the Thursday morning event. Voters within the Winside Public School District will be asked to authorize a bond issuance not to exceed $14.67 million on May 11th of this year. The election will be by mail-in ballot with the mailing to registered voters anticipated the week of April 19th. Roughly 720 registered voters received a brochure. Winside is faced with urgent facility needs that have grown beyond the current district budget and are seeing several mechanical and structural issues along with classroom space. If the voters of Winside Public Schools pass this bond issue through on May 11th, Offner said plans will be drawn prior to going out for the lowest bid. So you're probably looking at, I would imagine, November, October, November is when the bids would be opened. But the interest rates are locked as soon as the, the bond um, is approved by the public. So that next day, it would be, the interest rate would be locked. And then, then the process of selling the bonds would begin. More than likely, construction would begin in the spring of 2022. The tour included showing the poor areas of the elementary and high school, along with the weight room and shop. The high school was built in 1968 and elementary in 1970. DLR Group will be the lead architect and provide a professional study of the facility needs, as well as present additional options that would provide for security upgrades and additional classroom space. And currently, Winside Public Schools has IT courses of power drive, woods, and welding, but do not have any ag or FFA leadership courses. Offner added the school conducted a survey in the fall of 2019 during parent-teacher conferences as each family was handed a survey. So we were, we were collecting multiple data points, but one of the one of the big pushes was to find out if that's truly what the parents wanted was an FA Ag program. We, we heard about it or the board had heard about it before I had arrived so that was a priority. So but that was it was 97 percent they were in favor of starting that program. The overall net levy increase for district patrons is expected to be around seven cents per one hundred dollars of assessed taxable valuation for the first two years and then will be reduced in following years to a lesser net tax impact. If the voters would say no to the bond issue, Offner said one option would be to do nothing, but the board has stated they'll need to address the immediate issues in the renovation piece of $4.8 million by using the special building fund. Again, I don't have the 100% final numbers, but that levy would be more than what the current levy would be with the bond. Because we'd be chasing a number we wouldn't have the funds available to start the project immediately and with rising costs, you know, construction costs will go up and the interest rates will change too, so we'd be always be chasing a number. Public information meetings will be on Sunday, April 18th and Tuesday, April 20th, beginning with tours at 6.15 p.m. and a meeting to follow at 7 p.m. Visit windsidebondissue.org for more information, which includes the homeowner and ag land impact. Reporting in Windside, I'm Aaron Scheffler, WayneDealyNews.com.